welcome back to Finch Mall, everybody. Hi hope guys. You, hope you like. Uh, hope you like us and our our let's plays and our terrible commentary. This guy sure does. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> you guys <laughs> like give me. My breath smells like kitty litter. What's with you and kitty litter? <laughs> <laughs> you like spend time in it. I have to say I'm a bit confused. <laughs> I don't know. I'm referencing another episode where you talk about kitty litter. Oh yeah, remember when? Uh, remember when I had a cat for yeah. like those five episodes of Silent Hill too. <laughs> oh. Good memories. Yeah, those were the times. Or I hated that old bastard. But anyways, Shattered memories. Um, <laughs> you know there are a lot of Silent Hill <laughs> with, with lots memories, of memories. You know? yep. Uh, but anyways, uh, so have I ever told you that I've uh, uh, in my time of uh, working twelve hours at Magna, I was thinking of like. The perfect Nightwing movie script. Did I ever tell you that? You want to hear? I'm sure it's it? horrible. Do you want? To hear <laughs> Please it? tell me. Though. So, so I always thought about like this, this, this like a uh, movie thing, and having like pretty much me being like the sole proprietor, so I can have like like control over everything. Right. But anyways, so Batman's not in the movie, but like he does like a voiceover at the beginning, and then like and then like he does like a he does like a it was like a montage, you know. Of it's him, like, like <laughs> what? I would love if the the Batman like monologue speech is him just like the same one that Jor El uses at the beginning of Superman, where he's like, "The human race is a fragile <laughs> yes. race." It's super, <laughs> it's super, and it's also um, yeah, God to them. Who is that? Kurt Russell is that his name? Kurt Russell, a Man of Steel. Yeah, it's just Jor El. He's Batman. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so, like, there's, like, this montage of, like, young Bruce, like, like coaching young Dick Grayson. Yeah. And then there's another montage of, like, a little older coaching uh, Jason Todd. And then, like, there's, like, there's, like, a, there's, like, a fast-forward scene of, like, him getting beat in the face with a crowbar. <laughs> and then, like, a moment of silence. And then, like, a very, like, shaky Bruce Wayne, like, scared for Tim Drake's life coaching him. And then another one where he's dating Wayne, like, you're my son. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so. I love, 10 out of 10, okay? Rotten Tomatoes ain't gonna like it but <laughs> dude so like the whole premise of the movie is like is like a uh, batman goes off chase the joker and like <clears throat> dick grayson is like stuck there being nightwing in gotham city and like he's getting help from red robin and um robin they're both <laughs> robin <laughs> so like four robins and then the like scene. and then uh deathstroke comes to town and is like you know mess with all the kids and, like, gonna... and then like he has to like get jason todd's help who's the red hood uh -huh. like, but it's like at the point where they like, don't know that red hood's alive you know and then like red hood's trying to turn david Wayne over to like the dark side and then like and then so anyway the climax of the movie is that they i've always i've thought about this the climax of the movie is they go to fight um uh red hood or they go to fight in the Batcave, and then what changes Red Hood's mind is that he sees that Batman still has Jason Todd's, like, like, uh, Robin Sue that has, like, good soldier etched in the glass, and that makes, <laughs> him, deep. makes him turn on Deathstroke. But anyways, best movie or greatest movie idea you've ever heard? Um, surely a watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a watch or two. So, Fox, you can have that one. Fox? <laughs> Warner Brothers. <laughs> Your, your, I, your I, turn. My, my turn? No, I was talking to you, Warner Brothers. <laughs> you may speak now. Um, I don't know, dude. Fox is doing pretty all right with uh, their X-Men series. Oh, oh my God, I gotta get him! Oh, jeez. <laughs> <awesome. laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Right, sweet. Dude, Fox sucks. No, dude. Days of Future Past. Whatever. Those X-Men movies are so boring. What? They are. First class, Days of Future Past, and now we're getting Apocalypse. Yikes. This guy's excited for Apocalypse. Oh, never mind. He's not. Oh, God. He's not. He is not excited for Apocalypse. He's like, oh, God. Yeah, I did another one. I mean, you've never even seen the Deadpool movie, so... No, I haven't. I do want to see that, though. Super good. And I'm telling you, dude... You know what's strange is I actually, in my car right now, I actually have Days of Future Past because me and Noah were watching it yesterday. Oh, God. <laughs> I love that movie so much. I don't know. I I, uh, I stopped watching the X-Men movies after X3. Yeah, that's the bad one. Yeah, that's what I've been told. The X-Men 3 is bad. Um, Even as a kid, I was like, this is kind of stupid. I like all the X-Men movies except 3 and Origins. Yeah, everyone hates Origins. I like the, the second Wolverine standalone movie. First class, like, nobody went to go see that, but it was, like, surprisingly a really good movie. I think I actually watched that in history class when I was in Crest. First class? Yeah. Really? X-Men first class? Yeah, I think so. I think that's that the best fucking history class ever. 
It had that weird dude from Warm Bodies or whatever. You know? Oh, the guy who plays Beast. Was he Beast? Yeah, he was Beast. Weird. He's a beast. <laughs> He's a beast. He's a beast. Yeah. Hates my son. Ew, your son's looking worse for the wear. But anyway, yeah, um, I remember even being a kid watching X3, and I was like, this is a very good. Yeah, this isn't. And also, they killed. They, they killed, killed like three main characters, dude. In the very beginning. Cyclops died in the first scene of the movie. Yeah. I was then, so pissed. And then Xavier. But, like, at the end credits. And then scene, Wolverine just bones Cyclops' <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> Tries. I don't think he succeeds. Oh yeah, no, that's right. He ends up stopping himself. Um, but anyways, I hated it. That yeah, wasn't great. Also, who's the guy that plays? Who's the guy that plays uh, Wolverine? He's been doing it for like thirty years. Hugh Jackoff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not a big fan of Wolverine. And the problem with the every single X Men movie is that Wolverine's like the focus for some reason. When d yeah, be well, that's that's sort of the case in Days of Future Past. But, like, Wolverine is only there as a replacement for Kitty Pride, and because in the original comics of Days of Future Past, uh, why'd I, like, dive straight <laughs> into Hit <him>? me! <laughs> hit me, hit me! Do we, do we? Uh, in Days of Future Past, Wolverine is the one who goes back in time, and it's like, oh man, Wolverine. He's got his stupid bone <laughs> claws. Oh man, Wolverine. <laughs> oh man, Wolverine. That's me. <laughs> He's got his stupid bone claws for the rest of the movie. Lame. Yeah, I know, it's super lame. And you only get to see his metal claws when he's, like, freaking out and having a spasm back in the future. So when he, like, gets hurt in the past, he, like, gets hurt in the future. So he's, like, spazzing out and he cuts Kitty or whatever. That's I don't so know. Lame. Either way, he wasn't that big part of the movie. It was actually mainly Charles Xavier and Magneto who were, like, the big... And Mystique, especially Mystique. I'm not a big fan of the naked blue lady either. I feel like, because, like... I'm not a fan of Jennifer Lawrence... Uh, I'm probably gonna get hate for that, but I'm totally not though. Oh, I like Jennifer Lawrence a lot. Well, maybe in Hunger Games, but like, her, the, like if I want to watch an X Men movie, I don't want to watch it solely because Jennifer Lawrence is Mystique. I want to watch it because I want to see Magneto and Charles Xavier do stuff. Yeah, but Jennifer Lawrence is a hottie. Yeah, but like she never, she's never in her blue makeup, like hardly. She always oh. has to like transform back. Oh, that's kind of lame. That's actually so that's stupid. actually a thing that I liked about the X three movies is that she was always naked blue lady. But I, I mean, I just liked the design. I was like seven and I didn't even think boobs were cool. Oh god, I forgot. Turret guy. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, anyways, so yeah. um, enough about. Watch it. <laughs> oh jeez, I didn't. I was really like rubbing my eyes. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, enough about X Men. <laughs> I think I'm all X Men out. But um, this guy right here. Oh. Ah. This guy right here with the turret. Um, he's an X3 fan. He's, <laughs> he's like, listen, those sacrifices to kill all the characters were worth it, okay? We got a deeper plot line from Wolverine. I'm like, I'm coming to kill you. <laughs> he gives you the stake driver, yeah? Yeah, he uses the stake driver, which is my next question to you. Um, should we... There is a way to gain his help, or he'll like give you an item or whatever. Um, the, and I have to beat the Dark Beast Parl, which is the electric... Is that him? <laughs> <laughs> you call? I'm the Dark Beast Parl. <laughs> but, uh, we can either gain his help or, uh, not gain his help. Well, what do you, what do you get from gaining his help? I, that, that's the thing, I don't know. I, I know it's something, I read it online, uh, after you beat the Dark Beast, you get something from him. But if you kill him up there... Inside the shop back at Hunter's Dream, you get his stake driver and uh, I think the feather cap too. That's uber lame. So, oh who cares god. about the freaking feather cap? That thing huh? sucks. You suck. Oh god. The only helmet I use is like that weird cage helmet. And there's two hunters down here too. Oh god. Oh yeah, his buddy who's like, shit. Yeah, you gotta go down further. Oh, oh god. He's <laughs> like a weird monkey. Oh Jesus. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I actually fought. I just fought the guy on top of the roof. Cause then you could you could buy the stake driver once you kill him. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave him alive because I don't really want to deal with him. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, you can get like stuck dying a lot. Just, I mean, if I just like run up there and push him off, maybe. Yeah, don't do that because he don't get his items. You gotta like fight him head on. I'm conflicted. So, I'm so conflicted. Just, just leave him. Okay. I'll we'll do that. we'll gain his help somehow. All right. Oh, this game's a, huge. There's a whole bunch down there. There's so many people down there. 
Like that guy? Yep. Waiting. Just waiting. Cranking. Listen to some Jay Easy. That guy's like, oh, do you see him? <laughs> yeah, he's right in my vision. Maybe you should move. <laughs> well, we have a sweaty <laughs> battle here. <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right. Uh, next time, Fitch Ball. Uh, we'll this isn't a good time to end it. We'll clear up all the enemies on screen. Oh god, please. Oh god, we're getting our fucking faces kicked in. This is the gayest gang war ever. <laughs> it's the most like, flamboyant thing to ever happen to us. This is like in the 1400s too, so... It's just a scratch. Just a scratch. It's just, just a scratch. Somebody threw a rock in my face. I have a cheap what? shot. <laughs> just like, <laughs> a pepperoni. <laughs> 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 we will get them.